Hello everybody, this is Kiki with Kiki vs. IT, and today we're going to do Kiki vs. Frozen with Anna and Elsa. I am coming to the Frozen tutorial from code.org. I'll put the URL down below. Hi, I'm Elsa of Arendelle. Help me create a single line. Okay. This entire level is here just so you learn how to work the interface. But if you're familiar with Blockly and you're familiar with kind of the Code Studio code.org pieces, then you shouldn't have any problem with like the first three to five levels. So we're going to do what the destruct destructions do what the destructions say. We're going to do what the instructions say and we're going to move forward and hit run. Ta-da! We completed a line of code. And if you'll see, it gives you this button so that you can see what you actually wrote. This is the move forward 100 block. I do believe that was the president's first line of code as well. So, huzzah! Continuing on, this is puzzle two. It's pretty much the same thing, only we're gonna turn right here, and then we're going to do another move forward. So let's go ahead and move forward. We'll turn right, move forward again, now you don't have to get these right and the first time it's not going to judge you it's not going to grade you it's not going to make fun of you uh, trial and error is a perfectly good method for learning especially when it comes to programming i just happen to know these puzzles already so here we go forward and you can speed things up a bit if you're impatient like i am all right take a look move forward turn right move forward Cheerio. Okay, wonderful. Now we're going to put an entire square together. Now we're getting somewhere, right? So we're going to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right. If you are familiar with the Blockly Code Studio interface, then you're probably begging for a repeat right about now, uh, but it's not going to give you one yet because it wants you to beg. It likes it when you beg. Okay. Uh, now we have Anna, and she's going to teach us how to use the repeat block. You'll see that the code is already there. All we have to do is figure out how many times she needs to repeat this little bit that we have inside. Four times makes a square, so let's run it. Let's speed things up, darling. All right, so there we go. And then we can show the code so we can see what a for loop looks like in JavaScript. What are they good for loops? All right, sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. I'm just having like a CSN week hour of code kind of moment, you know? You know, you ever have those? Okay, now that she wants to create three squares, we're gonna take what we just learned about creating one square and we're gonna do that three times. Now it tells you to turn by 120 degrees, but I'll tell you how we would have figured it out. So we have this repeat four times, that makes the square. We need to do three squares, so we're gonna repeat that three times, and we're spinning in a circle here, and a circle is 360 degrees. So if we take 360, divide it by three, we get 120. Let's speed this up from the get-go, click run. Watch that girl skate. All right, woohoo! So now I'm actually going to skip forward to level 20. It's going to give you other things. It's going to give you repeats. It's going to give you nested repeats. It's going to give you functions. It's going to give you functions and repeats. It's going to give you functions with parameters all inside of an hour. And you come out the other side and you are at this play lab like area. So you have kind of a free build space. You can create a snowflake of type square, parallelogram, line, spiral, flower, fractal, random. So I'm going to create a fractal snowflake right now. And uh, let's just see what it looks like before I go any further. Aww, and a bit cute. I like that one. So I want to do more than one. I'm going to try again, and it's going to leave the code I had before. Now I want to put a snowflake on. I'm gonna turn by, I don't know, 60 or so degrees. And then I'm gonna jump forward 
a hundred pixels. A hundred sounds good. And I'm going to repeat that whole thing. I don't know, six times. Six times sixty is three hundred and sixty. That should give me something complete looking. Here we go. Oh, it's as fast as it'll go. Gorgeous. It's a snowflake made up of snowflakes. Okay, so that's my ode to winter and my playtime with Frozen. I have let it code, let it code all that I can for the day. So uh, this is my gift to you. Go ahead and give it a shot. Try your own hour of code. What do you like? How did you feel? Leave me some comments below. And if you do an artist level, go ahead and take a screenshot and send me the link to it. We'll share with each other. I hope you enjoyed. Happy CS Ed Week and happy IT. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this. If you want a sneak peek of what's coming up next, you can follow me on these social networking sites.